Hey there, this is Handyman007. Aside from building and fixing stuff in our home, I'm also passionate about continuously improving my and your home office space. And I've already published a few videos around this topic, from improving internet and Wi-Fi connectivity, to making keyboards and screens more ergonomic, to making over an ugly wall without using paint, to looking for and installing the right monitor mount, to buying the right AC, to understanding what makes a chair ergonomic, to assembling the right chair, heck, even properly cleaning that chair, to buying and assembling the ideal office desk. And if you've been following my channel for some time now, you'd understand that I create these videos almost always with three things in mind, your budget, your efficiency, and your comfort. In this video, there's one more aspect of my home office I would like to address and share with you, my optical mouse, or more specifically, the position of my hand and arm whenever I use my mouse. Like most people, I typically glide my mouse on my desktop, either with a mouse pad, a gaming mat, or even a mouse desk extender. The problem with these options is that it still forces your entire arm to hyperextend, hang at an unnatural angle, or both. Now, if you're a gamer, a video editor, or anyone who spends a lot more time navigating with your mouse than your keyboard, you'll agree this causes a lot of strain on your hand, wrist, shoulder, and neck. And you know what? I think the only way to minimize that strain is to control the mouse where our shoulder is squared, elbow is at a 90 degree angle, and our forearm, wrist, and hand are aligned from elbow to fingertips, and supported by a flat, cushioned surface. Now, this is where it gets tricky. I could not find a single product out there that allows me to accomplish those conditions. So today, I decided to just design and build my own custom mouse armrest. Will it work or will it fail? Let's find out together. Okay, let me first fill you in on what exactly I'm trying to build here. Basically, it's a box where I can rest my arm on to control my mouse. But instead of being attached to the edge of my desk or to my chair, it's going to stand on four caster wheels. This approach has three benefits. One, I regain space from my desktop which otherwise is occupied by my mouse and arm. Two, because it's resting on the floor, it gives greater stability to control my mouse better. And three, I get to experience true ergonomics for my mouse arm. It will be 5.5 inches wide, which is the distance between the foot of my chair and the legs of my desk. 5.5 inches may seem too narrow, but really, I only need about 3 inches laterally to move my mouse pointer across both ends of my screen. However, notice that I indicated 8 inches wide for the top side because I initially thought of doing an overhang. Later on, I decided that it's easier to just build the box 5.5 inches wide all around. On the other hand, it will have a height of 20.5 inches, which is the distance between the floor and my elbow when I'm sitting down with my feet flat on the ground and my knees are at 90 degrees. So the height of my caster wheels is critical to my measurements. That's why I ordered them first and confirmed that each stands 1.5 inches tall. This means that the height of my box should only be 19 inches to arrive at a total of 20.5 inches. I'll also use the side as storage, with a door that opens from the top. This way, I could easily reach down and access the storage space without me needing to get off my chair. But at this point, I haven't decided yet if I will create compartments or just leave everything as one big space. Anyway, I'll stop talking for now and start cutting, then assembling the main box.
Now that the box is built, sanded, and cleaned, time to put some color onto it. Because I wanted to use my mouse armrest caddy right away, I decided to wrap it with self-adhesive shelf liner. Since this is made of PVC, it's heat resistant and waterproof. I just had to be extra careful in applying it evenly across the surfaces to minimize bubbles and creases. Okay, I had already cut and sanded the door off camera. Might as well wrap it too. Perfect. Time for a dry run. Mouse armrest. Activate. Hmm, this doesn't feel quite right. Okay, I've set it on top of a 3x2 piece of wood to factor in the caster wheels I'll mount underneath later on. But it's still way below my elbow. Oh, okay. Gotta flip it. There you go. Much better. So, let's mount the caster wheels. Good. Now for the side handle that will allow me to push and pull it conveniently. Huh, nice. Meanwhile, the wood screws I used to mount the caster wheels were too long and protruded past the plywood, so I cut them with an angle grinder and finished off with a metal file. Later, I'll cover this surface with shelf liner too. Now, to install the door handle. I chose this design to complement the color and sleek pattern of the shelf liner. Perfect. I attached the door to the box using two hinges. Then I used two magnetic catch latches to keep the door shut when closed. Okay, this is still missing one final feature, a cushion for my forearm. I used a piece of self-adhesive rubber insulator. This is actually used for soundproofing cars, but since it had been in storage just collecting dust, I thought, why not? My version 1 prototype is complete. Now, let's see this in action.